Okay, guys, so we saw that if you've got some kind of constricted motion, um, or rather constricted flow, the streamlines, streamlines just, they, the streamlines become more dense. And in this region over here, you have the fluid flow speeding up. Okay, that's what we saw in the previous one. Um, the, the fluid flow speeds up. And what we need to see is that if there's an increase in the speed okay, of the fluid flow, this means that the fluid is accelerating, right? That makes sense. It's accelerating. And if the fluid is accelerating, right, from this point to that point, then it means that the fluid over here is exerting a force on the fluid here okay let me just repeat that the fluid accelerates right it speeds up in this region and if it speeds up it means that there's an acceleration and this acceleration is due to the fluid over here exerting a force uh, in this direction and so if the fluid here is exerting a force in this on the fluid here then in this wider region we have higher pressure higher pressure fluid and in this region we have lower pressure okay so the other way of thinking of it is that um, the fluid can only accelerate can only speed up as we as we have a pressure difference a high pressure and a low pressure so let's look here when the flow speed in a laminar flow increases the pressure in the fluid decreases okay this effect is sometimes called the Bernoulli effect right after the Swiss physicist who first described pressure differences or the, the pressure difference quantitatively. Okay? Alright, that's good enough for this one. We'll see you in the next one.